Was Zuma's presidency one of nine amazing years, as his daughter claims? In a video currently circulating on social media, former president Jacob Zuma's daughter, Duduzile Zuma Sambudla, is shown being interviewed at the National Elections Results Center after it emerged that the MK party had experienced a stunning, unprecedented success in the polls. In the video, Zuma Sambudla is asked by a journalist what kind of governance would the MK party bring to South Africa? She replies, quote, uh, The same kind of government that we had under President Zuma, those uh, nine amazing years, are very similar. In a different interview at the Results Center, Zuma Sambudla says that the MK party would endorse, quote, Doing what uh, President Zuma did under his economy, which is great. I will just go back to that. Zuma Sambudla obviously has a particular political axe to grind, but is there any truth to what she's saying? I'm Rebecca Davis, senior journalist at The Daily Maverick. On the economy front, it is true that Jacob Zuma's administration, which began in 2009, had to deal with the aftermath of the 2008 global financial crisis. Even so, however, in 2007, South Africa's annual economic growth was at 5.4%. During the Zuma years, from 2009 to 2017, that growth collapsed to 1.5% annually. It is impossible to blame the global financial crisis for nine years of depressed economic activity. During the same period, unemployment rose from 22.5% to 27.5%. Electricity prices rose by 350% and total public debt doubled. When Zuma took power in 2009, the number of service delivery protests each year, measured by municipal IQ, stood at 107 per year. By 2018, this had more than doubled to 237 per year. Land reform is another issue that MK party representatives claim Zuma paid more attention to than any other leader. But by the last year of the Zuma administration, the budget for land reform was at an all-time low, with less than 0.1% of the total national budget set aside for land redistribution. The presidential advisory panel appointed by President Cyril Ramaphosa when he took office after Zuma also found that the major beneficiaries of land redistribution under the Zuma government were politically connected urban businessmen. Lastly, on poverty, former President Khalema Motlante led a high-level panel in 2017 looking into various issues. This found that the percentage of South Africans living below the food poverty line increased from 21.4% in 2011 to 25.2% by 2015. It's unclear, in other words, exactly what metrics Duduzile Zuma Sambudla is relying on when she claims that the nine years of the Zuma presidency were amazing, for South Africans. Well, obviously, it's like my first kind of uh, rodeo in the uh, like you know politics space in terms of getting into parliament.